Hi guys, this is Jolt. In this video, as I promised earlier, we are going to check out the Dunkin' Biscuit Blitz wheel cleaner on a bright wheel because last time uh, when I've done it, it was a dark wheel and on an electric car, so it was not as dirty. I couldn't uh, check out the full potential. So now I'm going to do on mine, which is a bright wheel and also I didn't clean it on purpose for quite some time just to keep it dirty so let's kick it I'm going to use it from another bottle uh, because of course I diluted it uh, 1 to 4 so I put 100 ml to 400 ml of water Now, as you can see, most of the dirt came off nicely just by applying it on the wheel. Also, it nicely removed dirt from the tire, but we will see later on how is it when it dries. Uh, it did not remove everything, but mind you, I did not agitate either. So there is a bit of dirt I can see like there, um, but I'm pretty sure with the brush it will come off. So now I'm just going over the other side. Um, I'm going to rinse first and then apply and then I brush it at the rear wheels as usual in my videos and then of course when I finished I will nicely go around and uh, finalize all the wheels so let's kick it
Okay, it started to be very windy. I hope it's not going to be very audible. Um, yeah, so it's a similar result to the other one. However, I can see considering more dirt left on the wheels. Uh, the reason behind is that, of course, as I raised it off, there was some water left on the wheel, so it diluted the solution even further, and also it stopped um, the solution to cling onto the surface. So that's why. But anyway, that's also what I expected. If you want to do just a simple spray on rinse off, then it's always the best to do it on either the dry wheel or you rinse it off and then you wait until it's uh, going to get dry or you dry it somehow with a blower or whatever and then uh, rinse it off. But it will be brushed and now we are just going to check out the other wheels. So obviously as expected uh, it removed all the visible dirt from the wheel so now I'm just going to the last wheel I'm going to rinse that one off first then I use the same amount of product on the tires but considerably less on the wheels and of course I'm going to brush it Obviously the gimbal turned to a different direction where I set it up initially, even though I thought I logged it. Anyway, uh, so, um, what's the point? The point is that obviously it removed the dirt as expected, uh, all the visible dirt. And obviously you need to use less material if you do this way. So first you rinse off all the loose dirt and then um, you can use less with the brush. So you don't need to go crazy on the chemicals. Okay, so this is the first tire I cleaned. I'm not talking about now the wheel, only about the tire, because um, I did not complete the wheel yet. So the tire 
was cleaned up nicely of course it wasn't crazy dirty before either but uh, there was some dirt on it and it removed nicely as expected okay i retreated to the garage in the hope that it's not going to be as windy over here i've got now this new usb type c uh, adapter for the external microphone with the noise cancellation but you can never know just in case anyway results so again this was the dunking biscuit blitz as i mentioned earlier um, i recommend it and it's the same now nothing changed it cleaned up the wheels nicely i know it it is not like a thousand years old dirt in it but it was rather dirty and it cleaned everything flawlessly so again i can only hands on hearts recommend the product anyway that was it about this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos i'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one bye bye